The Bitcoin blockchain has seen unusually large activity, yet the price is going down. I'm Rosemarie Miller here with Stephen Ehrlich, the Director of Digital Assets Research here at Forbes. Thank you so much for joining me, Steve. Thanks, Rosemary. So, Steve, what's going on here? Why is there unusually large activity and the price is going down? So we've, we've seen a lot of activity or an unusual amount of activity on Bitcoin's blockchain in the last few months because for the first time ever, uh, NFTs have become available on top of Bitcoin. Uh, this was not in the, the roadmap that was issued by Satoshi 15 years ago, but uh, Bitcoin's code base like that of, of all the other blockchains is open source, which basically means that it's free for anybody to, to see, download, and tinker with. And the real innovation here was not necessarily putting the NFTs onto, uh, onto the Bitcoin blockchain. Um, for anyone that's taken the time to look at how the Bitcoin blockchain Bitcoin blockchain is actually uh, how it actually is presented. If you if you wanted to see it on a computer screen, there's a lot of transactions, but there's always a bit of space within the blocks for discretionary data, which could be a JPEG, it could be uh, a love node, it could be a, a, a marriage certificate, whatever you want it to be. Um, but there was no way to really prove that those images were particularly unique, which is something necessary for NFTs, which are by their very definition non fungible to have their value. Uh, well, around February, a, a developer devised um, a way to bring what's known as ordinal theory onto Bitcoin um, in Satoshi's. And ordinal theory is, it, it's a high level mathematical concept that's kind of beyond the, the purview of what we're talking about here. But basically what it means is that you can sort of inscribe Satoshi's, which is the smallest denominator of uh, of a Bitcoin. Uh, for instance, the US dollar, if you, prices will go out to um, 0 0.01 cents. Um, uh, Satoshi is 0 0.000001 bitcoins or, or eight decimal points. And normally those are fungible. You don't care which one you get or which one um, you send. But with ordinal theory, uh, certain Satoshis are now marked so that they are unique. And those can be associated with, with NFTs. And, and because crypto love is a good tool to speculate, um, you put both these things together and all of a sudden you get an NFT, uh, a, a, a splurge in NFT activity on top of Bitcoin. So why do we care about NFTs in 2023? I feel like NFTs were really early 2022. The gold rush felt like 2021. Like, why is it just now happening on Bitcoin's blockchain? Mm -hmm. So NFTs definitely did surge in 2021 and, and, and started to peter out in 2022, along with the rest of the crypto market. But but they do have a, a strong base of support. And, and there is a lot of belief that NFTs are going to create are, are going to be the bedrock of, of a whole new immersive Internet and, and a way of, of generating and digesting content. Uh, they always seem to be a bit uh, uh, like incongruent with Bitcoin, though, uh, because remember, Bitcoin is the first blockchain out there. Uh, its use cases are rather limited and it's pretty rigid in its structure. Uh, for instance, it's it's really only good at sending Bitcoins back and forth, which was by design. Ethereum, on the other hand, and, and some of the other layer one blockchains uh, are seen as like multi-purpose, um, multi-computational platforms that theoretically could uh, operate any type of decentralized application from a cloud storage facility to a, to a social networking, uh, a social network platform. And the, the key to all that is are, are smart contracts, these sort of like auto executable computer programs that really work as kind of if then statements, but on steroids. Bitcoin didn't really have that. So it never really made a lot of sense to put NFTs on top of Bitcoin because what were you really going to do with them? You could send them back and forth. You could prove you own one, but there's very limited utility without these smart contracts. And, and those still don't exist here. In fact, um, a lot of the nodes have to kind of jerry-rig certain code in order to be able to process the, these NFTs. So the utility is really hard to find, uh, at least right now. But but again, it's early days. Theoretically, that could change. But uh, I think another reason also, uh, Rosemary, going to your question as to why we've seen this explosion is there's any any time that there's some new idea, some new development, there's certain folks that are going to try to get in early um, gobble up the assets, maybe corner the market, and then either use them as like prestige uh, ownership items or or perhaps sell them. And and right now, although BRC twenty tokens in excuse me NFTs on Bitcoin have really uh, led to a surge in interest, in the grand scheme of things, it's still relatively small. So so we're still early, and and a lot of this is really just due to speculative fervor. Mm, so you don't think it's a wise investment, is what you're saying? 
No, it, it's, I would definitely say it's not a wise investment right now in my uh, very official non-financial advice uh, voice here. Uh, anybody that's really looking to purchase some of these tokens and and, um, and NFTs on, on Bitcoin, uh, just keep in mind that they are extremely speculative. They have um, little intrinsic value, little utility right now. And, and you'd really be buying them just to be part of a movement, be, be part of the excitement and and hope and and hope that somewhere down the line additional utility is going to be built on top of it. So uh, I mean, I'll never tell someone not to buy something, but but definitely understand that that this is at the very very far end of the speculative uh, um, spectrum when it comes to digital assets.